First, though, new release toxicology reports today. So Javon Belcher had an alcohol in his system when he was shot and killed Cassandra Perkins. Well, investigator Melissa Yeager has been reviewing the results of the autopsies on both Perkins and Belcher. She joins us with what she found. Melissa? Elizabeth and Mark, the medical examiner's report states at the time of last month's shooting, Belcher's blood alcohol level was more than twice the legal limit. Kansas City, Missouri police dash cam video captured officers' encounter with Javon Belcher, who they found asleep in his Bentley outside an apartment complex in the early morning hours of December 1st. After talking to him, police say Belcher went into the apartment building and they did not have reason to arrest him. In their report, officers said they did not smell any alcohol and that Belcher didn't appear to slur his speech. But an autopsy report released today shows Belcher's blood alcohol level at 0.17, more than twice the legal limit of 0.08, meaning he was legally drunk when he left the apartment and went to his home and killed his girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins, then drove to Arrowhead and took his own life. The report does not show any presence of illegal drugs in either Belcher or Perkins. The report shows Perkins had nine bullet wounds to her neck, legs, abdomen, chest, back, and right hand. The medical examiner described the wound through her right hand as having evidence of being shot at close range. Her death was ruled a homicide. Belcher's death was ruled a suicide. The medical examiner only determines the cause and manner of death. It's not within the scope of their duties to look any further, like, for instance, whether Belcher suffered from concussions. We also don't know whether that would be even possible given his cause of death is gunshot wound to the head. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.